Hey guys, Coach Jen T here. Um, so today we're gonna go over some tips on kind of managing the Halloween candy because yesterday was Halloween and we either have an abundance because our kids brought home a bunch of candy um, or we were giving out candy and we didn't have many trick-or-treaters so we have tons of candy left over. Um, one important thing to remember you guys is that nothing is restricted the great thing about like the flexible dieting um, track is that you can incorporate like food into your diet that is not whole foods, that is not perfect for you. And you can do it in a balanced and healthy way, which can overall improve your relationship with food, realizing that, hey, if I wanna be healthy or if I wanna like lose body fat or get fit, you can still have those treats, but you can make them fit into your day. Um, so I have 10 tips for you guys. Number one is to plan ahead or track your candies that you want ahead of time. So we do this with like desserts. We do this with different kinds of treats. You have an allotted amount of like carbs and fats and calories overall to enjoy. So you can ask yourself ahead of, the, ahead of time what treats or what candies are truly worth it to me. And you can plan to have those. Maybe you love to have that after dinner um, candy bar or maybe you love to have um, something in between like lunch and dinner as like a snack. Um, so planning ahead and having that pre-tracked ahead of time so you know you can look forward to it and you know when you're enjoying it, it's not going to be like the last time that you can ever have a treat like that again, which will make you not feel so restricted and deprived and then totally going overboard later. Number two is have those smaller portions. So instead of having like the full size candy bars, go for the fun size candy bars, the smaller ones. Or maybe if you have some sort of chip or cracker or cookie, you get them in individual serving size bags um, portioned out so that you're controlling the portions that you're having. Um, and then number three is to not skimp on the balanced meals. If you're starting your day with a protein packed, nutrient dense, veggie loaded breakfast, and then you're moving on to a great healthy lunch with protein, and then you're having a healthy dinner, eating those balanced nutritious meals is gonna keep your blood sugar regulated and ward off those cravings for really overdoing it on the Halloween candy. Um, number four is to find other things to satisfy the sweet tooth. For example, things like Yasso bars um, or pieces of dark chocolate. Um, even like a piece of fruit sometimes is just the right amount or dried fruit to um, kind of curb that sweet tooth if you're really craving something and you don't want to overindulge in too much excess sugar. Um, number five is when you are going to eat your treats, don't eat them like they're going to disappear. They're not going anywhere. So just take the time to slow down and savor every bite of whatever you're eating. Me personally, like I love like crunchy and candy bars with texture. So for me, like I love Butterfingers, I love Snickers. Um, and so if I'm gonna enjoy something like that, I'm gonna take my time. I'm going to enjoy it savor every bite. If you're savoring and t slowing down, you will find that you are satisfied off less than if you were just like pound town going crazy on the treats. Um, number six is to stay hydrated. If you are properly hydrated and you're full of water, your body, your brain is going to be satisfied because your brain can't differentiate between hunger and thirst. And if you're drinking plenty of water, it's going to significantly reduce those cravings. So if you're really craving like the candy bars or whatever, like ask yourself, how much water have I drank today? Um, it's a very valid question and maybe promise yourself that you'll sip on some water before you actually go have the treats. Um, number Seven is um, great for at nighttime. Like if you have your dinner and then you enjoy a treat, um, brush your teeth and that can really help you get fresh. So brushing your teeth, you guys, will really help like take that taste out of your mouth, you know, like get it freshy and minty. If you have a fresh, clean mouth, you're not gonna wanna like go eat more candy, especially because after having minty brushing your teeth like the chocolate or the extra sugar is not going to taste so good so that's just a kind of a nice hack 
no matter what time of the day, like brush your teeth and then that's it. That's like a sign that you're done um, indulging in the candy for that time being. Uh, number eight is to donate or share the extra candy. Environment is everything guys. So like um, there are plenty of places out there. You can donate some of your candy to like a homeless shelter or I know coming up are the holiday parades and you can donate candy to different organizations that are gonna be throwing out candy for parades. Um, just something to think about, or you can bring a bowl of candy to work to share. Um, just having it like out of your house and sharing it with others can help you kind of get rid of it and, and not have so much in your house. Um, number nine, again, environment is everything. So out of sight, out of mind works really well. So ask yourself, where is that candy dish sitting? If it is you know, in the middle of the kitchen counter in a bowl, then it's gonna be so easy to just grab it, even when you're not thinking about it. If you see it, guess what you're gonna think? You're gonna think that you want a piece of candy. So having like the candy that you do have in your house, like maybe a little more out of reach, um, like you could put it on top of your fridge or in a higher cupboard, um, somewhere where you're not just going to see it all the time and you actually have to work to get it a little bit. Um, and back to the donating, like environment truly is everything. So ask yourself, like what is in your immediate environment as far as candy goes? And if your goal is like better long-term health and, you know, less cavities and overall just like feeling better, regulated blood sugar, more energy, you want to make sure you are fueling properly, not depriving, still enjoying that stuff in moderation, the candy, um, but not just having that be primarily, you know, 50 to 80% of your diet. Um, and then number 10 is to stay active and stay busy because if you are truly craving something, um, it takes about 20 to 30 minutes for like a craving to subside. So having like something else to do, like, you know, have your shoes on, have your shoes on, on standby, ready to go out, go for that walk, get outdoors for some fresh air. Maybe you have a list of chores to do. Chances are likely if you can just push through um, when you're really craving overindulging, taking that time to pause, say, hey, am I truly hungry or am I just wanting this candy because, you know, I'm stressed or I'm tired or whatever. Ask yourself that question. And typically, if you can find something else to revert your attention just for a little bit, the cravings will subside. That is it for today, you guys. I hope you have a great day.